Welcome back to Between the Speakers Season 2. I'm your host, Indiana. Today we have a really, really exciting guest on, a guy that I've known for quite some time. He can be really annoying. We also have our own podcast together called Dropouts. Go check that out. But today we have Zach Justice as our guest today. Hey, Zach, what's your name? You can't steal my joke, okay? No, we had a we have a technical malfunction before this, and that was my joke. Indiana, what's going on? Zach Justice here. What's up, Zach? This is interesting. I'm interviewing you now, which is weird because we have our own podcast together. And it's weird because we FaceTime three minutes before this. Actually, we're, if, yeah. So, no, get into it. Explore my life. Cars. We both just got new cars, which is very exciting. What did you get? I got a, <laughs> I got a Mercedes. Oh, nice. How old are you? 18. Oh, you're 18 years old. Don't act, okay, I'd like no, to- no, no, I just want to know how much it costs. This isn't even a big deal. Well, how I'm much not, it costs? I'm not telling you how much it costs. Of course. North of 50 or? I'm not telling North you. North of 60? I'm not telling you how much. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, that makes it sound like my mom and my dad bought it for me. I mean, rumors are flying. They did not. Okay. All right. I'm super, super. I was, I'm very fortunate at my age and I was able to buy my first card, 18. I bought because myself. You can throw it back on TikTok. Go much. ahead. I bought myself a Mercedes and I'm super proud of it. So No, I'm I'm really proud of you. I'm excited that you got it. I know you love it. But um where are your logos on your car? <laughs> Why did you bring that up? Now I'm mad. Okay. One of my favorite places to go in LA every Sunday is the melrose trading post so if you guys are la natives or have been to la then you probably know about this ginormous thrifting parade where it's just a bunch of outdoor booths and it's in west hollywood super fun um a bunch of really cool trending trending trendy stores around that area so i parked my street on a main street i never parked down alleyways there one because i got a freaking 70 dollar ticket last time i was down there two because it can get a little sketch I parked it on a main street and my freaking logos got stolen off of my car. I came back furious. I've only had this car about two months and I was already super nervous because you know the whole thing of like when you get a brand new car, something happens to it within the first like, you know, two weeks of you having the car. And I was like, okay, past the two week threshold, past the month threshold, past the two month threshold. I'm, I'm flying clear. I'm in the clear here. I come back to my car. What, what type of car is this? Who knows? What do, who knows? Who Nobody knows? knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what type of car this is. Could be a Saturn view for all we know from 2004. Who knows? Was I furious? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was. Did I call Zach mad after it? And like, and Zach was like, I didn't steal the logos off your car. Why are you mad at me? Well, the thing is, your anger level is like at a consistent seven. That's where you just, you idle. I just start. And then you went to about, if the scale's to 10, you went to about a 60. I was so mad. It's just so frustrating. It's like you work so hard for something and then somebody just decides to ruin it for you. But anyway, Zach, you just bought a car or a truck. How's yeah, that Yeah, I bought a, um, a Toyota, you know, because I'm not an 18-year-old. But yeah, I bought a truck. Uh, it reminds me of the South. It's lifted. Um, I really like it. Gas like, mileage, about 11 miles to the gallon. Sucks. Couldn't be worse. Didn't think that through. Um, but besides that, it's really fun. It's Windows a, down, country music. Zach and I's thing is country music. We both love country music. But while we're here, huge reason of why we're here, I wanted to show you this game trailer. So we're going to roll the trailer. We're going to give our thoughts on that. It's really, really cool. So let's do it. This seems like the coolest concert ever. Oh, man. Oh, this makes me miss concerts. I know, like me too. I want to be a DJ now. I think I can do it. I don't think you could do it. I think I could do it and you could stand in the background though. I think we could battle it out, see who's a better DJ. Oh, country hat, love it. Look how we've got over a hundred songs ready to go. From Ooh. rock to pop to rap to reggae. Oh, is this in all the loops? He can mix it up. This teaches you how to be a DJ. Pretty much. This bass. Good. I Dude, wanna get in My DJ, DJ would BPM rock your DJ. Your D what would your DJ name be? Um Probably like uh, DJ Indy, something simple. Oh, really? Really? Oh, ooh, I like that outfit. I'd have purple. some red hair. Ooh, I like that. The purple. Ooh, a little hat, a little sweatpants action. Oh, I definitely want a helmet. I want to be him. I want to be that guy in the blue suit. 
Well, I already called him. Also, I'd make my my set look so fire. Like that? You see that? That was sick. Oh, I want the red hair guy. All right, you can have him. So DJ Ginger. I'll have the blue. <laughs> And if they couldn't, well, cowboy hat. I want cowboy hat. I'm sorry, but this looks so fun. Like, it makes Ooh, me miss festivals. I want a giant ice cream set behind me. Ooh! Does this not just make you just want to just jam out? And you can compete with people around the world. Good old Ooh, can you bat? Oh, I want to DJ battle you. I know I'd win already, but it'd still be fun to do it. I think I would win for sure. Why do you think that? Because I just am better. Oh, nice. Thanks for going in depth. It's all right. See that? You can get some Billie Eilish up in there. I know so much about Zach at this point, and we speak about pretty much everything, or I'm there for pretty much everything in his life, so it's, like, difficult to just bring it up naturally and me act like, oh, my gosh, that's so interesting. I haven't heard that one before. When I have, I've heard absolutely everything. What's my favorite color? Black. Nice. Let's do What's my mom's name? We could... Gina. There we go. Ooh, you guys are best friends, we right? Some, we could do some quick trivia so people can get to know you because you are about to take over the show. What is your thoughts on Kentucky basketball? Oh, the best absolute sports team in the absolute world. I would rather watch Kentucky basketball than do absolutely anything. Wow. And that includes hanging out with you. Very passionate about that. How do you 100%. feel about me mistakenly calling LeBron James, James LeBron? Oh, couldn't be more mad. I wanted to fight you with both hands, but I decided against it because I didn't want to go to prison. Favorite drink? I'm Capri Sun, specific cooler, of course. Favorite food spot? Favorite food spot. If you don't say Dave's Hot. You in love LA. Dave's Hot. Well, I don't know if you meant it. Yeah, Dave's Hot Chicken in L.A. I like and a good hot chicken spot. Your least favorite job you've ever had? Um, probably dropouts with you. But besides Exciting. that, um, I worked for my dad construction, and he was military for thirty years and just didn't take any crap. And it was just us lifting way heavy. And I'm a skinny guy. It's just us lifting heavy things all day, and him yelling at me. And that was not fun in the hot Georgia heat with a hundred percent humidity. What was your no. favorite job you've had besides entertainment? I worked at the Outback Steakhouse. The Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I was slinging blooming onions like it was nobody's business. I was like giving out chocolate thunder. Business? So you'd have different sections um, that you had to cover. So I'd have like a four table section. And sometimes I just wouldn't notice someone would walk in because we'd have a slow day. I'd be in the back the whole time. So I'd have a table that was legitimately waiting there for 20 minutes. This happened multiple times without me greeting them, giving them drinks, or even welcoming them to the restaurant. So my thing was... I noticed they get irritated and I walk up to them and I say, has anybody helped you guys out yet? And they're like, no, we've been here for 20 minutes. Nobody's helped us out. We're going to leave. We're going to blah, blah, blah. I said, no, no, no. Look, this isn't even my section. I'm going to help you out right now. I mean, my section is all the way over the other side of the restaurant, but I'm going to take care of you guys. And then they would love me and I was their hero. When really I screwed them over the whole time. You would do that, wouldn't you? I did it often. We went to Outback for the first time the other night. I went. I tried some Bloomin' and Onion. Tried. Because you're Australian. Yeah, I got mad at a lot of the restaurant, like a lot of the food titles. Like, why is it Melbourne chicken or why is it Alice Springs chicken? What makes it Australian? You were the the most Australian thing in that restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I was. And I've been here six years, so I'm pretty like washed out. How do you feel about your accent kind of going away? It makes me a little bit sad. And now you've spoken about it, I'm going to try and put it on thick now. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> I don't like that you know me so well. So where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Oh, I'm from Australia. Um, yeah, that's really cool. What about you? Oh, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. And then I moved to South Georgia because my mom fell in love with a country boy on eHarmony. Surprise, surprise. It didn't work out. And then I went to college. I played tennis for a year in North Georgia. And then I got into the arts. I was like, hey, I want to take acting and writing seriously. So I moved to LA. And then I started editing for YouTubers. You were one of them. And then in exchange for a room to live in, I edited your video. So I lived with you, with you for two months. And when I say that was the worst two months of my life, I absolutely <laughs> mean it, you know? Do you want to dive into that? Like what happened? Let's like not dive into us living together because I was the worst human being. I was in my, anno I think I was like 14 or 15 years old. I was the worst human. I was so annoying. I was just like, it was the worst. And I apologize. I apologize for passing. And then you guys kicked Don't, me out of your house. I didn't kick you out. Stop saying that. Stop no, saying kicked, that. I did not. No, 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 
no, no, no, no. I get it. You've explained the situation. In every single podcast we've ever been on, you've said that I gave you six days to leave my apartment. I didn't give you anything. I was a child. I didn't know. I had no part of that. So if you got beef with my mom, go deal with your beef with my mom. Well, Don't. me and your mom have a lot of things that we deal with. But anyway, so we're not going to talk about that right now. Indiana, anymore. I need you to calm down. I need to tell my truth. And the truth is, I found one place to live. It was a two-bedroom apartment with 10 guys living in it. That's 900 tough. square feet. And if you um, run the air conditioning and turn on the microwave at the same time, all the power went out. And Good look where we're at now. Two years later, we rekindled our friendship at the beginning. Well, well we're acquaintances. We're acquaintances. Definitely. Were you ever part of your school's court? Like your homecoming prom king anything yeah i won prom king my junior year which was kind of cool um i went with a girl who was from norway she was a foreign exchange student oh you had the foreign exchange and i took her to dinner to this nice steakhouse and she's like i don't know how to do a norwegian accent but she's like i don't know what to order yeah i got her steak and she only had like one bite i was like well that was a giant steak and then i looked on her facebook like way later and it said she was vegetarian so it probably wasn't good but to think you that took like, a she, vegetarian, oh, but she ate a piece for you. Yeah, to think that she liked me enough to eat a piece is really sweet. That is really sweet. But you really messed up on getting up. her steak. What but it was a, it was a good night. Why do you say it like that? It was just a it was a really good night. So okay, I don't know. Let's let's talk about some things that we have coming up. I guess we're going to Georgia. We are going to Georgia. Are you are you excited to see the South, like the real Deep South, for the first time? Well, I've heard that that's not the real Deep South. What? Uh, apparently that's close to Florida. South Georgia <laughs> isn't the Deep South. I don't Redneck know. Nation? I don't know. Dude, five minutes out of when you're out of the airport, you're on a horse. Like, this is how it goes, okay? I'm on a horse? Yeah. You seem really defensive oh, about all this. Southern things. You seem defensive about this. I am defensive about this. You're going to have a cowboy hat on, a flannel. Look Abs- at me. I'm already getting ready. I'm not wearing a cowboy hat, nor am I wearing a flannel. Oh, cowgirl hat. You're right. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> Fried chicken galore. It's going to be It's gonna be a good time. So, Zach, considering you are taking over this amazing podcast of ours, where can people find you and get to know you a little bit better? Um, TikTok, Instagram, everything's at Zach Justice. You can find me there. Also, find me on the Dropouts podcast with the worst host in the world, Indiana. Me. And then, yeah, I'll be taking over your job because you're getting fired, right? Yeah, I am getting fired. At least the company is going to go in an upward direction because they're getting better. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I'm yeah. just saying correct so you make yourself feel awful. Yeah, I know. I f- you got to be like, no, I'm better. That way we, we have banter back and forth. Now it looks like I'm pretentious. Well, we'll see. <sighs> we'll see who the audience likes better. I have a feeling true. it'll be me. I have a feeling it's going to be you too. See, I switch it on you. Yeah, but it's cool now because you just seem like a nice guy. Thank you for joining me on Between the Speakers Season 2. I hope you enjoy your little time hosting this. No, it's going to be really fun. I'm really, really excited. Thanks for having me. (laughs) 